Yo, it's Batman Mo back with media now. A lot of times you hear me speak on the Egyptians, and you hear me speak on um, a lot of their teachings. And the reason I do this is because the Egyptians deal with the mental plane. Now I want you to understand how they're really showing you everything was manifested through the mental plane. So when you always see people going back to the Egyptian teachings, no matter where you go throughout the world, is because the Egyptians deal with the mental plane. So when you're going into uh, Egypt and you're talking about the pyramids and different things, there these pyramids were connected to stargates and portals, but they're also talking about the subconscious mind. So we're talking about aspects of creation dealing with the mental. And when you're dealing with the mental, you're dealing with the coup. And the coup is a principle that they embody when, that as a part of the soul when you're talking about, or the spirit, when you're talking about the mental you, the mind, you're talking about the you, the body, the, the mental version of yourself. So you have the mental version of yourself connected to the subconscious mind. This is the coup. So basically, when we would pass away, we would go from one state of existence to another. But you understand that this is the part of the transformed being that we are when we're talking about being in the ethers or being in the different parts of, uh, of, of space before we keep going up through the different parts of the mental of creation. So, but down here, us manifested as a little version of the creator, you understand that you have the etheric body is only next to the physical body. So the physical, then the etheric, then the mental. So, so let me show y'all real quick, just so it be. So from the physical you, right, which would be just the body, you would understand that the only way the physical you was brought in is through the first three chakras, right? But the, I mean, obviously you need all of them, but you get what I'm saying. So, but the, but the, um, etheric body is right after the physical body. So you see appearance has, it points all the way down to the closest body, then the emotional body, then the lower mental, which is going to be connected to the will, which is, you know, going to be connected to the solar plexus. Then the higher mental is connected to the heart, so forth and so on, as you go on, on up and up and up. But this coup is what's connected to, you know, when we're talking about, not just the etheric body of, I'm not talking about the lower etheric body, I'm talking about the etheric template. So what is the etheric template, which is their version of what they call the, um, um, right here they call it the casual body. But in actuality, or the, um, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so right here they call it the casual body, right? But in actuality, it's not the uh, casual body. We're talking about the coup, we're talking about the, the, the mental you, we're talking about the you, that is the etheric you in a higher space. So now we're talking about the the lower aspects of the the of of, of the mental consciousness versus the higher aspects of the mental consciousness. You get what I'm saying? Because all of this comes from the mental, anyways. This is what I'll tell you. All of creation is goes beyond the mental, but you're down here in the mental plane. So you see how all of these are divided but connected to each other. You get what I'm saying? So that's what the the coup is. Right? When you're talking about this coup, right? So the coup is the you that goes to be amongst the stars or be amongst the Netaru, be amongst the gods, be amongst these these um these higher these beings in these higher spaces. But the but but you have other aspects of you that can go to different spaces as well. You have other aspects of you that go beyond the mental plane. But this this is the etheric is just showing you that no matter what you do on every level on every everything is connected throughout all realms throughout every level so this is why it's hard for people to correlate the reality to themselves because one is 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 a reflection of another but you're like in the middle of many different versions of yourself you see how like how confusing that can be when you think of it in that aspect this is why they teach people the laws of the universe because once you learn the laws of the universe you can learn how everything is you and how you're connected to everything now no matter what it is that is in the physical reality well it will never you know it will never uh deluge you or never confuse you never cause delusion of the mind you feel what i'm saying because we're talking about the difference between uh setting something straight or to orchestrate and to or to demonstrate which is to divide and orchestrate which is to bring a, a unity into everything even though it or a harmony when we're talking about things being cohesive even though they seem separated you know what i'm saying so 
this is why you know many in many um many people would want you to believe like billy carson and these many other people i i appreciate what they do but i don't i don't fall for none of that they want you to believe that these guys are just evil or these guys are just whatever blah blah, blah. that's or they just out here killing and doing different things like that that is never the case you know what i'm saying like for example let me give you a real life example like i'm in rob right i'm in rob people would consider him uh or oh, whatever he's evil isn't it no Amin Ra is when they say a jinn jinn just means hidden so when they talking about uh Amin Ra being a hidden god or being the hidden aspect or being the hidden sun what they're saying is they're talking about this invisible fire that's inside of you that you can't see that so they causes help causes the spark of life like shoot like shoe like air like oxygen but also like uh atoms when stuff before when they're being created but before they're created we're talking about light so this is talking about Amin Ra before you can see the visible light, this is the light that's hidden. You feel what I'm saying? Like just like melanin, we talk about inner melanin, right? Inner melanin is like the light that's hidden because this melanin manifested on a higher plane would be light. You feel what I'm saying? So you, so melanin, you feel me, being in the in the ner in the, uh, the nervous system in many different areas of of the body, this melanin helps you actually, you know, not uh, internally not lose your memory as fast talking about pigment on neurons and different things like that you feel so the coup is in tune with your with pretty much your mucous membrane so like it helps you with all the uh regulate the mucus in the body so everywhere that the mucus needs uh uh to be at it's going to be there it, whether it's in your nasal passage uh in the mouth it's in uh down the uh the tract of the digestive system and different things like that, the esophagus, because when you're swallowing, you need this, this, these liquids, these uh, protective liquids to for smoke for you know different things, when you, harsh things on your body. You feel what I'm saying? So this mucus is like a defense system as well. But not to even get too deep into that, the coup is uh, also connected to the. Uh, Okay, so when we talk about the Egyptians and we're talking about how they used animals and animal heads and different things with the, with the uh, human body and different things, and they use all these different symbols, these were symbols for you to get the alchemical process of what they were trying to teach you or show you. So a lot of times this was confused with the actual reality of a being when these beings were, you know, a lot of these beings are what you call spiritual beings and in, in, in a spiritual realm, they could be whatever they want when, in, in these different shapes and forms. But when we're talking about uh, physically, we're talking about uh, alchemical processes. They're teaching you. That's all this is. So when you, that's why they come to life when you almost look at them because th it's teaching you the process of whatever your, uh, whatever the symbol is. So like, for example, the DNA itself. When when we look at the DNA, we don't say to ourselves, the DNA is a process of, you know, not only having four base pairs of you know um, proteins and or, or what we call a. Uh, this nucleic acid base pairs, right? Of cytine, uh, guanine, adenine, and whatever it is, the last one. And But also, and not only just ACTs and Gs in order, I mean, in different orders and formats over over 3 million different types of combinations and all that, right? But in actuality, we're talking about the waveform. So we're talking about how a snake, you feel me? Remember, a snake is, is, is a wave. So when you're talking about the waveform, you're talking about the difference between the RNA being a being a, a, a singular uh, waveform, like the reptile being a singular uh, being the base pairs or the base DNA, but also attached to the waveform and also attached to the spiral. We're also the same thing we're talking about the DNA of the double helix. So the the coup embodies so the double helix the did the, the DNA of the two strands is talking about the soul. And the RNA is talking about the spirit, or the spirit is is an aspect of the DNA is, is intertwined with the soul, but the 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 RNA is just talking about just the spirit in general, or the aspect of um, you know the, the certain elements of different bodies, versus the DNA connects you completely to the soul. You feel what I'm saying? So this this is talking about memory and and, and different things like that. The cool is very important because the mental you is how you get to the reservoir of all uh, hidden information that is already stored inside of your being or inside of your uh, bodies, the, these different light bodies. This is what you're trying to access. So when you're talking about consciousness, this is this is what leads you on a higher path to higher awareness that people like to call smarts. 
or, or, or whatever. It's just more information that you can store inside of your mainframe.